Hey guys, welcome back. This is HK with Tech Wrapped. This new stable Oxygen OS OTA update available for OnePlus 5 and 5T users, which is 5.1.5. And this update brings the much awaited triple support for users running on stable update channel. The OTA update will have a stage rollout, which means it will be received by a limited number of users for now and then will have a broader rollout in a few days. I did not get the OTA update notification directly. I tried with VPN setting it to Canada, Germany and some other countries but nothing worked. Even tried the Oxygen OS update wrap but it displayed that my phone is up to date. In order to update your phone to the latest Oxygen OS 5.1.5 firmware, there is only one way which is manual update. For manual upgrade, download the full 5.1.5 ROM of size about 1.6 GB for OnePlus 5 and 5T from the links in the video description. After completing the ROM download, transfer the ROM zip file to your phone's internal storage. Now go to settings, system updates from system, gear icon at the top right corner, local upgrade, pick the 5.1.5 full ROM zip and flash it. The installation process is pretty fast and it took me less than a minute to reboot. If you are currently running 5.1.4 update, you don't have to wipe anything. Simply flash the update manually or via OTA and the phone will boot to the new 5.1.5 with trouble support. In case if you are running earlier versions of Oxygen OS, I would suggest to update your phone to 5.1.4 first and then update to 5.1.5. First let's go to settings about phone from system, the Oxygen OS version is 5.1.4 based on Oreo 8.1, Android security patch level is August 1 and the build date is August 8. About the update change log, as we have already seen, the Android security patch level has been updated to August 2018. Let's check if our phone has trouble support or not. Opening trouble check app and as you can see here, project trouble is supported and as OnePlus 5 and 5T have one set of partition which is A, seamless system updates are unsupported. Next, if you have set up screen lock with pin, you can simply type the code and the phone unlocks if you select confirm pin without tapping the tick mark. OnePlus 6 had this feature with 5.1.11, now we got it with 5.1.5. Apart from these, nothing else changed, no new UI like open beta builds and the camera app still doesn't have front portrait mode. Moving on to the benchmarks, Android 2 version 7 scored is 2 lakhs 5950 for OnePlus 5T, while it was 2 lakhs 3527 with 5.1.4. Geekbench 4 single core score is 1986 and multi core score is 6735, compared to 1976 and 6699 with previous update. So that's it, even though we got official trouble, it's not much of a use for now, as for all GSI builds, we need unofficial trouble support like Moki ROM. Anyways, if you find this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys soon in my next video.